Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm showcasing the F104S. Now this is the Italian variant of the 104, it's the 10.0 and I actually ended up playing this vehicle by accident. I had the Swedish Dragon in my lineup and I queued up and somehow ended up in my Italian tech tree with this thing just taking no missiles at all. Which is the clip that you saw at the very beginning in the intro and honestly this thing's a different animal without the missiles and although the missiles are good utility they are only AM9Bs, you do get 6 of them but they're really not that good and honestly this thing is hella fun to fly without the missiles it's much faster in a straight line, it accelerates quicker and it turns like an absolute beast at high speed now this game we get a couple of kills and an assist but we harass the enemy team to death and it's just absolutely awesome, there's really nothing other aircraft can do as long as you keep your speed up and I've got uh, a friend of mine here at uh, War Crimes and um, he's just kind of floating around behind me and that's going to end up really advantageous to us so I spotted two aircraft and then this guy just comes out of nowhere he's way out in his own, I don't think there's anyone else around here so I'm just going to keep tailing him for as long as I possibly can now this thing, there's really no other aircraft other than another 104 that can outrun you and I would assume that anyone that's got a better aim than me could really, really use this thing to its maximum potential just to kind of harass the, the enemies and try and get rid of vehicles that are kind of like slow or they just get too high in altitude that they just can't cope with this thing's level of power. Now, I almost stack it into the ground here. I didn't feel like I had my combat flaps out, but just around, just, I think it's around about 600 to 700 the combat flaps have this really weird flat spot then of course um, whenever you get slower than that you should be deploying your landing flaps so I'm going after this guy it's a really cloudy map this year I probably should have been able to kill him at this point if I actually had rolled properly I had no idea which direction he was going so kind of epic fail there but yeah I can see he's after burner through the clouds I try and get some trick shots here <laughs> at long range with the, with the Vulcan I know I'm going to get close to the ground and the weird thing with Afghanistan is that obviously ground level uh, is is a lot higher up than normal so fire a burst here managed to get the kill on him went to the kind of secure the kill because I knew a teammate was behind me but he goes down anyway and that's kill numero uno so yeah I'm just gonna try and get my speed back up again I've got this F4C that's coming up behind me he's kind of I felt like it was catching up but luckily I've got a teammate here that kind of chases him back up into the clouds so off I go as well uh, trying to trying to keep myself hidden here now, one thing I've noticed whenever you're playing top tier, the spotting mechanic is absolutely garbage. If there could be a plane that's like less than a kilometer from you, in clouds or not, it won't mark them and it just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So, just managed to catch that guy in the clouds. I was kind of concerned that he'd catch me with the guns and here comes a lightning. So, I know that I can keep this high speed turn up, but, well, way, way, quicker, than the, way, way quicker than the lightning can. So, I try and keep... A little bit of a turn so he doesn't hit me with the 30 mils and I want to make sure that red top doesn't come anywhere near me so again just staying in the clouds going back to supersonic ask my teammates for a bit of cover and uh, a few of them just start coming over here so I've lost them this guy's still got me radar logged so again just keeping in the clouds keeping my speed up as quickly as I possibly can and bringing them back towards the main bulk of the fight now if I turn in any direction I've no idea what this lightning is I can kind of see where this like supersonic cloud is forming and I'm already at Mach 1.15 so I'm definitely I'm definitely making my way uh, and getting myself some separation from this guy so I assume this dude is off me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and give my, my friendlies over here a hand look at the speed we're going already this thing is honestly without the missiles it's so so fast I would like to uh, maybe we can make a little video kind of side by side so we can see the difference between this vehicle with missile loadout and without yeah if you stick to, if you check the stat card just for yourself you'll see just how much turning speed it degrades and just how much top end and acceleration it degrades as well your climb rate drops by about 50 meters a second which is a whole lot that's that's uh that's a hell of a lot of uh, climb rate that's gone so coming back down i've spotted a little dot here i'm gonna give my teammate a hand I'll start to see his afterburner very shortly. Turns out, it's, I think it's a MiG-21 this year. So yeah, just metal to the metal. 
keep him after Bonner as, as fast as I can just to try and catch up and hopefully if I can't secure the kill on this guy at least get him off my teammate my teammate's doing exactly the same thing flying through the clouds notices I'm coming up behind so he decides to take me into a clearing again I'm gonna whiff my shots here pretty bad I managed to pull my guns down he does a little bit of a mistake and I managed to get the guns just on target last second so now he's crit I've let my teammates know that he's not doing so good I'm just going to pull out of the way just in case there's an R60 floating in his wing that's waiting there with my name on it and again I'm just out I'm just keeping my speed up again I'm going to get a little bit of altitude and there he goes nice kill assist on that guy perfect <laughs> I used to get that guy off my friendly and then my friendly secures the kill so that's pretty cool I love these little moments in War Thunder and you don't really get them with the missiles now you know it, it, everything's pretty much up for grabs if you're flying a F4E you're pretty much guaranteed you know two or three kills with the M9Js and if you're flying the MiG-21 you're guaranteed the same again with the R60s as long as you're in the right place at the right time so notice this F100 I want to turn in towards him I'm still keeping an eye out for this lightning that's kind of he I don't know what he's where he is or what he's doing but he's kind of been out of the fight the majority of the game so I don't know if he's trying to just hawk someone that's you know alone F100 goes down and now the chase is on to try and find the lightning for the last kill. All my teammates are clustered up here so it's probably not a very attractive thing to come up to this furball and if you're a solo solo player. I think the lightning's the last guy left at this point. So yeah, I'm just going to kick about here. I'm fanning about with my friend, <laughs> putting my smoke on, try smoke. And uh, yeah, just, just going to scan it around to see if I can find a dot. But no, no such thing right now. So I'm just going to keep my speed and uh, come off my afterburner to save some fuel and when I notice here he comes uh, so I'm not sure he landed back on his own airfield and managed to take off in that time but this is where he's at he's roughly in the area of his own airfield managed to spot the dot I'm going to come off afterburner again to save a bit of fuel try and set up my position to get around behind him I think he hears me coming put my afterburner on back on the combat flaps to try and get around behind him with my shots again and now we're on a six. This guy isn't that stupid. He he kinda he kinda knows he can pull a lot harder than I can at this speed. And I'm honestly kinda falling for it right now. I really want to get this kill and get the game over and done with. So try and pull back into him. And we've got teammates coming from every angle now. This guy's getting an absolute bukkake of uh <laughs> of off of our teammates. Somehow managing to dodge everybody's guns, so he's doing a decent job of that. I go completely vertical knowing that I've got all the teammates around and this guy needs to move uh, and basically put his afterburner out. I try and use my air brakes to turn better and for some reason the foot pedal bind I have for my landing flaps isn't working so I'm kind of fiddling around with my combat flaps and raising my flaps wondering what the heck is going on. No idea what's happened there but I check my binds afterwards and they're actually fine. They work for every other aircraft but just not this one at this, point, at this moment so I have to look into that but yeah whatever uh, I, I see this lightning again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some separation and I'm going to come in for a different approach the teammates really struggling to see in the clouds so I, I don't blame them they're not getting good accurate shots on this guy just because he can't really see the outline of his aircraft so you know flaps are flaps are back on really helps me to aim I'm turning them I'm switching them on and off depending on whether I need speed or not but uh, as soon as I get near this guy, engage combat flaps again just so that we can actually target. And I just hold the figure down and down he goes. And that's our last kill of the game. So yeah, I just wanted to showcase this. I don't think it's obviously a meta vehicle, but it is surely a lot of fun to fly. I wouldn't go out of my way just to grind this thing to use it right now. It's really not got a place in War Thunder currently just with the missile meta. But yeah, I, I just wanted to showcase it. It's kind of fun. I don't think very many people have done videos in this since the dev server, so... I thought I would put something out there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. Much love and bye-bye.